One of the main questions people have when looking into dirt bikes. How expensive is it? So, in today's video, we are going to cover everything that you might need, everything to expect, the paths and the options there are, and most importantly, the prices behind everything. So, we are going to start with what I think is one of the most important investments in the world of riding dirt bikes, and that is gear. So, to start with a helmet, your price range with helmets should have a minimum of about $100 to a maximum of $700. Now, ideally, you'll want to shoot for something in the middle. Personally, I always go for about $180 to maybe $400. Now, on the cheap side of helmets, they will be a little bit heavier, less comfortable to wear, and will wear out quicker. Now, on the more expensive side of things, they'll be a little bit lighter, more comfortable, and they will have better technology making things a little bit safer during a crash. Now, moving on to boots. Boots should have a price range of a minimum of $100 to a maximum of $600. Now again, shooting for something in the middle will be just fine or recommended. Similar to the helmets, cheap boots will be a little bit heavier, less comfortable, wear out faster, maybe less safe, whereas expensive boots will last a little bit longer, be more comfortable, and have a little bit better technology, be more safe to ride in. Next, you are going to want to get a pair of gloves and a set of goggles. Now, gloves can have a price range of about $10 to $50, and goggles can have a price range of about $20 to $200. Next, pants and a jersey. They should have a price range of about $100 to $300. Knee guards will have a price range of $30 to $100, and knee braces will have a price range of around $500. And I plan on making a video in the future on why I switched from knee braces back to knee guards. Next, a chest protector, which will have a price range of about $70 to $250. Now that covers all of the main pieces of gear that people will get. There are some other little things that will be similar in prices to everything that I just mentioned. There will also be a video about what riding gear you should get, and that will be later on in this series. So, now that we've covered gear, let's quickly go on to some of the accessories that you might need. Starting with tie downs, if you plan to transport your bike. They will be about $20, and a ramp will be about $100. Next, you will probably want a work stand. They can be about $50. Some can be a little bit more expensive. A gas can will be about $30 and you can expect oil and lubricants to be around $50 to $100 just to keep your bike maintained. And it would also probably be a good idea to invest in some tools. Now this fully depends on what tools you might already have or just getting the minimum of tools that you will need for your dirt bike. So expect it to be around $100 to a couple hundred dollars. And yes, there will be videos later on in this series that will cover more on maintenance and tools. Now, finally moving on to bikes. When it comes to bikes, there can be a lot of differences in whether you're buying new or used, the size of the engine, or just what type of dirt bike you're looking to get. So to start for some simple examples, a new 254 stroke will be around $8,000 to $9,000. A new 454 stroke will be around $10,000. A new 125 two stroke will be around $7,000. And a new 252 stroke will be around $8,000. Now again, those are just some of the most common motocross bikes, for example. It can vary depending on what you're getting, as there are different brands, engine sizes, or trail bikes, off-road bikes, or smaller bike sizes for kids. Moving on to buying a used dirt bike. Buying used dirt bikes is a pretty complex subject, and I plan on making a video about that later on in this series. But for a simple example, a dirt bike will depreciate about $1,000 a year for the first few years of its life anyways. Now, a few more things to keep in mind. So depending on what type of riding you're looking to do, if you're looking to ride on motocross tracks, track fees will be around $30. If you are looking to ride more on trails and off-road, most places you're going to need to get your bike registered. That'll be around $50 for a year. And lastly, regular maintenance. Now, this completely just depends on how much you ride and how good you take care of your bike. Things as small as oil changes to things as big as engine rebuilds depending on how much you're riding and 
how many hours is on your bike. So if you are starting from complete scratch, here are a few simple examples. A set of gear can be around $430 up to $2,100. A bike can range from $2,000 to $12,000. And accessories can range anywhere from $50 to $400. Well, this has been my life savings for the past 10 years. So I hope this video didn't give you a headache or completely stress you out. And I have seen people find creative ways to ride dirt bikes for much less. But personally, I recommend taking the time and patience to properly save up and don't cheap out or look for shortcuts. I hope you enjoyed today's video. In the next episode, we will cover the different types of dirt bike riding that there is. So stay tuned for that and I hope to see you then.